Now let's return to the Seattle Roadster Show. 15 years ago, I was at a car show and I noticed a Mercury that was so beautiful. Well, Chuck and Joyce Togstad were the builders and owners of that car and since then, they have owned a whole bunch of really nice Mercury's. Thank you. To begin with, what is it with Mercury's? Why Mercs? Well, I had, you know, I had them when I was a young, young fella and, uh, and I just like them. And, uh, you know, and once you do one, then you, you, you start understanding them better and, you know. Just, uh, it's an addiction. Yeah. She it's says it's. She says it's. It's an addiction. An addiction. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, it, when you were in high school, were you looking at these or yeah, how I, far I, back? I, did yeah, I couldn't. You know, uh, yes, I I liked them, but I I uh, I couldn't afford them and uh, and that and so yeah, it was just a childhood dream, I guess, to have these cars. Fifty-four, five, and six Mercury's always struck me as a Ford that went to George Barris and came out looking yeah, yeah. really cool. Yeah, see they were chopped like these cars. They call them a custom chop because they're they're two and a half inch lower than some of the other models. So they you know, came out they, of the factory. Yeah, they chopped, chopped factory chopped. Yeah. And you have a glass roof on this. So. Yeah, uh-huh. This is a Sun Valley. Uh, How many of the Sun Valleys did they make? Uh, they're pretty rare out of a uh, production of about 400,000. They only made 1,780. Uh, Sun Valley's like this. Was there anything peculiar to a 55 Mercury that uh, when you were building this compared to all the other Mercs that you've done, was there, have, when you've done one, you've done a bunch of them, or was there something peculiar to this one or to 55 specifically? No, you know, 55 and 56 are basically the same. There's just different trim on them. Can I brag on him a little bit? Go he ahead does, and brag. He does the painting, he does the bodywork, he does, he does it all. Well, I don't do all the mechanical. I've had some real good help on that. And I've had some real good teachers, too, you know. Yeah. I, I got to brag on him because yeah. he does a really good job. I've never owned one of these with a glass top. I've heard that in the summertime it gets a little toasty in there. Is that a wives' tale or, no, or is that a... No, really what it was, warm. if I could tell you a quick little story, like uh, these Sun Valleys, when most people talk about a Sun Valley, they're talking about a 54 Sun Valley. They made uh, five or 6,000, maybe even 7,000, 54 Mercury Sun Valleys. And they said by the, the early part of 55, the used car lots were full of 54 Mercury's because there were two uh, Sun Valleys because they were too hot inside. But then in, in the later part of 54 and, and all in 55, they got smarter and they put a, a, a zippered uh, liner in here, a white liner. So that took care of a lot of problems. Although a lot of people say it was kind of a bum wrap. It really was, they're, they're tinted roofs, so they really weren't as hot as everybody said they were, but it was probably just, uh, you know, they felt they, it was an illusion. Warm. Yeah, they are warm. They are warm. But, but when you're trying to find a, a new glass top for these, is somebody out there making them? Yeah, there's a guy up in Canada now that makes them. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that used to be a real problem, but there is a guy that makes them. Uh -huh. 55, 6, and 7 Chevrolets get so much press. 55 and 6 and, and 7s, but mainly 55 and 56. Mercury's are every bit as appealing as the Chevrolets. Why do you oh. think that the, the Chevs get so much uh, attention and, and the Mercs, they don't get passed over, but they... I, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, I don't know. They're not worth as much either, you know. Uh, I don't know. They're sure a lot easier to build the Chevys than the, than the Ford, than these, because you, you can't buy much reproduction yeah. stuff for these at all. And, and, and I don't know why it is. That I, you know, there isn't as many of them either. They're harder to find, so... Yeah. You know, well, you know. mentioned that they aren't worth as much, and, yes. and uh, no. I, I, I understand that, and, you know, I'm, I could come up with... I think this is being generous, but I do like the car. I could come up with six or seven thousand dollars for this you? car. What do, you, yeah. what do you think? Well, well, I don't know. Well, all right, we'll give it some we'll thought. Have to and, think about and, that. Okay, and thank you very much you for being on Vintage Vehicle yeah, thanks Show. Thanks for asking. All right, thank you. Thank you.